Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder and pretty much just giving you guys my overall thoughts about this product. So before I start talking about this powder, I do want to mention that before I purchased this powder, I used and am still using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So I've been using this guy for over a year now and I still have a good amount of powder left. I think I'm almost done with it, but um, it's lasted me a very long time. And I really do like this product a lot. It really mattifies my skin, which is great. And it doesn't look cakey or anything like that when I apply this over my concealer. So it's really great and it lasts all day long on my skin. It is on the pricier side, and also for the Kat Von D, it is pricier, but it's not as expensive as this one right here. Now, you might be wondering, well, why didn't you repurchase this if you're about to run out of it? Well, I wanted to try something different and see if I can find a translucent powder that is just a little bit cheaper than this one and see if it would give me either the same result or maybe just a little bit different. I love this powder a lot, so if you are interested in getting this powder and you're willing to spend $38, then I would go ahead and get it. I think it works awesome, like I said. But whenever I'm done with this, I'm going to continue on using the Kat Von D powder. I've used it a few times already, and that's why I kind of want to give you guys my overall thoughts about it. So let's scoot this guy over and bring this guy back into the video. So this is what the packaging of it looks like. It's really cute. I've never used a Kat Von D product before, so I was really excited to give this a try. Now this powder retails for $30. So that's why I was saying that I wanted to try a powder that's a little bit less expensive. I've tried drugstore powders before and they just don't really work well on me. So that's why I ended up moving to the high-end powders. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. She just has her logo right here, which hopefully you can see it, and it is just in a clear uh, packaging down here, which you can see the powder, as well as the Lori Mercier one. So this is what the bottom of it looks like. It lets you know that it is a translucent powder. And when I open it up, where the product comes out of right here, it is in the shape of a star, which I think is really cool. And for the price, you get a lot of product in this. It is a little bit smaller than the Laura Mercier one. I think, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure it's just a little bit smaller than it. So I just wanna read to you guys what it says about this product on the Sephora website. So it says it's a weightless, translucent loose powder formulated with micro-blurring technology to set and perfect for a flawless, locked-in finish. It says that this prevents the dry, chalky finish most powders leave behind and instead delivers a perfectly smooth, seamless look with the same number of uses. So yeah, that's just a little bit that I read to you guys online. There is more on Sephora.com that you can continue on reading. But anyway, I want you guys to hear my thoughts, so I'm just going to go ahead and share them with you guys. So this is definitely not as mattifying as the Laura Mercier one. That one is a lot more mattifying. This is mattifying, but it still kind of gives you that natural, or not natural, I would say more of a, not dewy, but not matte. So pretty much in between. You still have that little glow going on um, on your skin, which is great. I don't mind it. I do have oily skin, so Anything matte is my favorite thing, but sometimes I don't mind having a little shine on my face. So I'm pretty much okay with that. It lasts all day on my skin. It looks great. I do have to blot my face, of course, even with the Laura Mercier powder, I still have to blot my face. It's just, it is what it is, unfortunately. So yeah, and I love how it's slightly, and I love how it's a little bit cheaper than the Laura Mercier one, even though I'm getting just a little bit less product. Um, but I still get a lot of product for it, so I'm really happy about that. So yeah, there's really not much else to say about it. I really like it a lot, so if you are interested in getting this, maybe you just want to save a couple dollars, then go ahead and try this out. And if you don't like it, then I'm sure you can always return it. I know Sephora, they allow you to return uh, products, so that's really great. 
I took a flash photo with this on to see if it had any type of flashback and I don't think I noticed that at all so that was really great. I'm really happy about that. And I definitely agree with what it says online about it kind of being lightweight, which it really is. It's a lot lighter than the Laura Mercier one in my opinion. And I know that this powder is also going to last me a really long time. So that's really great, especially when you're buying a much more expensive powder than a drugstore prow powder. I can't talk. Um, so yeah. But anyways, that's all that I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was helpful for you in any way, shape, or form. Maybe you want to go ahead and get the Laura Mercier powder or maybe you want to get this Kat Von D one. By all means, do what you got to do and yeah, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.